In this video, we will be walking through through a quick tutorial to introduce you to Mule endpoints. We assume that Mule Studio is already installed. But let's first talk about what an endpoint is. In Mule, an endpoint is a specific channel through which Mule can send and receive messages. An endpoint has a specific protocol, such as HTTP or JMS. There are two types of endpoints, inbound and outbound. An inbound endpoint allows a flow to be called by an external client. In this example we will run, we will use an HTTP inbound endpoint, but most endpoints in Mule can be used for inbound and outbound communication. Conversely, an outbound endpoint is used to publish data to another service, application, or resource. We will be creating a sample Mule project which will publish an HTTP endpoint and echo any string it receives back to the browser. The first step will be to create a new Mule project. For this, open the File menu, select New, and then Mule Project. Alternatively, you can right-click on your Package Explorer and then select New and Mule Project. You will see the new Mule Project window. Here we will set the name for the project. We'll name it Core-Concepts. You won't need to add a description for this project now. Now we'll click on Next. In this example, we will create a flow and name it Echo. So write that in the name box and the file will be generated automatically. Now click on Finish. This is our new flow. Now we will drag the HTTP endpoint from the endpoints list and into the design area. Then double click the endpoint to open its properties window. Every endpoint has its own set of properties. You can explore those properties by double clicking different endpoints in the design area. For this example, we will only set host to localhost and port to 8081. All properties have tooltips that explain their meaning, so feel free to explore. Once we are finished, click on OK to close the window. Now it is time to add the echo component, dragging it to the design area from the components drawer. Echo components simply sends back any input it receives, so there is no need to configure anything here. Let's test our new flow. In the Package Explorer, right-click on the echo.mflow and select Run As, and then Mule Application. Mule Studio will run Mule and execute our new app and flow. So if we switch to a web browser and open localhost on port 8081, we will call the flow we just created and the flow will return in the web page any text we put into the address. What just happened? You created your first flow in Mule that created an HTTP server for the accepting incoming requests. The flow is invoked by going to the URL in your browser, http colon slash slash localhost colon 8081 slash echo. When a request is received, the echo component simply returns whatever was sent as part of the request. From the browser, you did an HTTP GET request, and the only information we set on the URL was in the path slash echo, so that is what gets echoed back. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for using Mule Studio.